Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2017 and part 1 of Season 5 of Non-League to Legend with Rangers and today we have the European qualifying match against Sevilla. How were they in the third qualifying round? I was quite confident of qualifying but I thought a big game in Sevilla, our first managerial match in Europe and it's against the, th well... I don't know if they've only won it three times. They've won it five times, but they won it three times in a row from 2014 to 2016. So they're a huge club. And, yeah, taking them on in the third qualifying round isn't exactly what we'd anticipated. But, uh, yeah, let's have a look at the transfer business we've done over the summer. Try to bring uh, Pato in. Couldn't get a work permit. This guy as well, Karaka. Um, a very good player couldn't get a work permit because uh, the, the UK has left the EU now on this game so yeah signing players is a bit more difficult um, but we've signed a hell of a lot we've signed 11 in fact which is a lot more than I thought Max Shaw guy for the future um, on a free transfer two star current four and a half three and a half star potential uh, this guy Ojan Ujerda uh, Oyen or Oyen Ujerda 19 year old Norwegian player, he's already three and a half star ability, four star potential, he's scored goals throughout his career, I think he could be a pretty good player for us, he's currently on international duty. Uh, Ryan Gold, or Gold, Ryan Gold, um, he's been signed on a free transfer from Sport, uh, f yeah, from Sport in Lisbon, um, he spent last year at Norwich in the Premier League and did alright, but he's come in and he's going to be our best central midfielder. We signed Sabonga Delada uh, from Arsenal. Just a backup centre back really. Uh, he's young. He'll do a job. Scott Dan. Uh, same sort of situation. Um, experienced. You know we know he can, he can do well. So we'll bring him in and, and see what he does. Now Jeremy Boga has been very good in pre-season. Uh, he hasn't played a game for anyone for the last couple of years but he got released by Chelsea we've snapped him up he's already a good player and he'll slot in there behind Dominic Solanke the guy who we've brought in uh, on a free transfer he was on loan last season his contract expired we thought we'd pick him up we know he can do a job uh, Roshan Williams has come in as a, a new top centre back for us on loan from Man United he's been all over the place the last few years playing games. Jerry Kelly, I didn't do the sign, I've sent him back because we don't need another striker. He is a good player but we really don't need him. Uh, Greg Doherty, 800 grand from Hamilton uh, or Hearts was it? No, Hamilton. Um, you know, he's played well the last few seasons. He's got experience in the Premiership, I thought a good backup. And uh, most recently Danilo D'Ambrosio um, who can play all over the, the shop really um but he's going to play it right back for us he's been playing in the premier league the last few years he's been an in there so i think he's a good sign and danilo d'ambrosio so let's have a look uh at the team for today then uh we've got mccrory in goal had lots of interest in him over the summer but lots of rejected offers uh d'ambrosio mbabu sean williams and Lee Wallace in defence. We've got Gold, uh, Stevenson and Rossiter in the middle with Boga starting behind Solank and Ryan Hardy. So the core of the team remains the same. We've just added a few more in. We've got a few more faces on the bench and a good um, team to select from. So here we go. Let's get into things. Uh, we do have a couple of injuries, which is not ideal, but we're hoping to go out there to get a bit of a lead against Sevilla because I don't know if we'll be able to go to Spain and get anything but I think at home we can use our home advantage to our advantage and actually do something good here's Boga now Williams Solanke here's Ryan Hardy nothing happened there hmm losing the ball a bit easily there oh Kuro hmm that's a mistake from McCrory uh, that's annoying Kuro, first goal of the season for him. This is going to be a tough European tie. It really is. Wasn't expecting something this difficult this early on. Maybe the playoff, but 
you know, I mean, Sevilla should really be a Champions League side. And I mean, obviously, we're a few years in the future now, but um, yeah, it's just difficult to imagine. But here we go. Already half an hour in, we we haven't done anything really, to be honest with you. And it's gonna rattle through to half time, is it? No, here's Boga now. Williams gold. Now Ryan Hardy. Mm, losing the ball too easily, I'm afraid. And it should have been two 0 Good save by McCrory. Ron Williams or Ro Williams, I don't know. Williams doing a bad job anyway. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Hardy's had a terrible game, and Sean Williams really has done. I'm going to bring on Jordan Williams uh, to replace him at half time. Williams, now here's Gold, Rossiter. Mm, Rossiter's picked up an injury, so I'm going to bring Matt Crooks on. He's just come back from injury himself, so. Maybe not the most inspiring substitution, but he he did well for us last year when he did play. Um, oh, really was hoping for a lead. We're gonna bring Zach Rudden on. We're gonna gamble on him. Hope he can grab us a goal. Mm. Stevenson away. Here's Salank now. Rudden. Absolutely nothing there. Here's D'Ambrosio though. Now Bogger to Solanke and Rudden. Oh. That was a chance Ryan Hardy would have stuck there in the back of the net. Should I have took him off? He has Crooks. Now Rudden. Good save. Rudden's looked dangerous, but not clinical. And that's what we need. We need clinical, not dangerous at this stage. He has Wallace. We, just, we do seem to have a bit more of a spark about us. And looking at the stats, we've actually given them a good game. Uh, Sevilla, but we just haven't took our chances and... It looks like we're going to unfortunately miss out in this first leg. I'm going to have to go to Spain in the next part of this episode to to do something. Is this going to be full time? Yes, it is. 1-0 Sevilla. Mm, not too happy with that, I'm afraid. We probably should have won that going by the stats. But didn't take a chance. And uh, yeah, we've certainly got a lot of work to be doing in Sevilla but not a good start of the season for us I'll see you guys for the second leg in just a second right guys we are back and yeah the second leg against Sevilla is coming up right about now Um, only one change to tell you about Matt Crooks comes in for the injured Jordan Rossiter I think we're actually gonna bring on Scott Ga Scott Dan as well for Raw Sean Williams Um. Yeah, we'll we'll stick with that. Uh, Ryan Hardy continues up front because we know how good he is, really, don't we? Um, so, yeah, this is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough. We could get battered. And it's going to be a disappointing start to Season 5. Or we could come back and uh, we could do something really good. Go far in the Europa League. Maybe even win it. I won it with Sunderland in my last save. If you haven't seen that, the Sunderland Project... Uh, it was quite enjoyable three seasons we did uh, obviously from the start of the game but this one I'm certainly enjoying a lot more and Kuro almost put that in the back of the net while I was advertising another series um, <clears throat> but yeah we've had a, quite a laugh on this channel with Football Manager the last couple of years and long may continue but enough of that rubbish uh, here's Estuando Fernandez. Oh, that should have been a goal from Francis Coquelin. Um Yeah, I'm hoping we get a goal on the break or something akin to that. Um, I think we could dominate Scotland if if we can topple Celtic. But um, yeah, I'm really confident about finishing strongly in Scotland. We've got an extra Champions League place, by the way. And uh, that changed over the summer, so I think the top three now get uh, Champions League, which is crazy in Scotland. Um, and uh, we'll certainly, we'll certainly be hope, hope, hopefully in the Champions League next year. But uh, here's McCrory, that's away now. So D'Ambrosio, <coughs> Crooks. Oh, it's away now. And then into the middle and two 0 
Carlos Fernandez with a goal. McCrory probably should have done better from being really harsh on him. Um, yeah, Del Castillo into the middle, and yeah, Ro Robbie, is it Robbie? Yeah, Robbie McCrory making the mistake once again. He was very much suspect in the first match. We're going to bring on Asati. I'm going to bring on Levetti, and we're going to make a triple substitution. Zach Rudden, I was very impressed with him uh, when he came on. Solanke hasn't done anything, so we might as well try something different. Otherwise, we're heading out of the competition. So, it's not like the group stage where you can claw it back. But 3-0 now, that's all over. Um, it's got to be expected, really, hasn't it? Uh, we fluked qualifying for this by winning a cup. Ryan Gold could have grabbed us a consolation goal, his first goal for the club, but yeah, uh, back to league matters now, and uh, well, uh, I don't think I'll show you the first game of the season, I think we'll, we'll just crack on and uh, come back in September, so that's 2-0, disappointing really, but um, you know, I mean, looking at the stats again, we arguably deserve better, but Mm. what can we say right so we'll leave that match there we're out of the Europa League um, which isn't good the board won't be happy about that they wanted a playoff um, and we've got to go now and try and beat Hibernian in the League Cup uh, and obviously we're defending the Scottish Cup later in the season uh, so Scott Dan made his debut how did he play yeah, a quiet debut. Um, we're still getting a bit of money from it. Uh, and that's that's about that. So when are we going to come back? We're starting the season against St Johnston. Three defeats in a row now, which isn't good. Uh, old club Gateshead, let's see how they've done in the transfer. Oh, they've signed quite a few players. It's quite impressive. Uh, they got rid of anybody. Madam Marriott. Mm, we know he can score goals. I don't want him to retire. <laughs> I might just sign him for the, for the sake of it. Uh, we'll come back against... Well, we'll come back against Hearts. Why not? That seems like a nice place to come back. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like down below if you did. You don't have to, of course, but me not for me and for the channel. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.